All right. Good afternoon. My name is Sven. I'm one of the founders and managing director of Store2B. And with Store2B, we want to enable brands to interact with people in the real world. At Store2B, we believe that we really need to rethink retail. We've seen a lot of retailers struggling out there. And I'm taking an example from Germany, a company called Praktika, um, who really tried to survive retail only by discounts. 20% on everything except animal food was their main slogan. And obviously, competing against Amazon out there, this is not a good idea as a retailer. So what they need to do is to actually change their mindset. They need to change from a pure point of sale and distribution channel logic to a point of experience and marketing channel logic. What do I mean by that? We've built an online marketplace for short-term promotion space, or we call it life marketing space. On the one hand side, we list all the spaces of shopping centers, train stations, and airports, which can be booked on a short-term basis. And we're talking about small spaces, two to, uh, two to 10 square meters. On the other side, we rent out those spaces on a campaign logic to brands and agencies. How does it look like? This is a typical store to be event. Here you can see how BMW is popping up in a sport check a retail chain in Munich. Now you could ask yourself, why are they doing this? There's one clear reason, because they share the same target audience. Customers that book those small spaces via store to be are actually booking target audiences, as, they've no, as they already know from online marketing. Another example is Casper. What's Casper doing? They grew to a tremendous size by online marketing, but at a certain point in time, the next euro in online marketing only shows diminishing returns. So you need to think about new marketing channels and opportunities. And yes, you go into TV, you go into print, but you also need to go offline. Why are they doing it? Because this is the only way to actually grow into new target groups. And then third example here is Amazon. That's my, my uh, favorite example, because Amazon is known to be the one, number one online retailer, but they're doing offline presence as well. And here it's the so-called omnichannel approach because they need to be present offline as well. Think about the little Alexas. Who does understand those things except us as a very small targeted group, people who are really uh, keen on getting to know those products. There are too many people out there who need the explanation and the physical, physical contact to those products. So at the core of store to be we have a booking platform, which I just described to you. But we have two enabling products making this platform work. For the supply side, we've built a software as a service tool called the uh, store to be Space Manager. And here you can put in all your space data easily. You have a booking calendar, automatic contract generation to make your life easier as a space owner. But on the other side, we also have another product for the demand side. And here, if you want to build a, a, a functional marketing channel, you need two things. One is scalability, and second is measurability. Scalability comes with all those spaces that we're listing on the platform. Measurability was something that we needed uh, in, back, back then in 2017. So this is why we created store to be event analytics, a little box that's actually tra uh, tracking Wi-Fi signals. So all of you who have a smartphone in their pocket now are tracked by our technology. We, we collect the, um, the signals from, you, from your mobile phones and actually can tell how far are you away from the event. If you're 50 meters away, that's called our reach. If you're 10 meters away, those are views because you've actually seen the event. And if you stayed more than two minutes in the inner radius, you're a contact. And those are exactly the same KPIs as you know from online marketing. Reach, views, clicks. In our case, reach, views, contacts. And then we also created our own KPI called Tim and his little brother, Timmy. Tim stands for Total Interaction Minutes. Those are the minutes that you as a brand have with your consumer and your end customer. And Timmy shows you how many minutes do I get per euro spent. Why is that important? If you look at live marketing only from a cost per mill perspective, live marketing is quite expensive, obviously, because you need to put something physical into the world. But that's only the quantity approach. If you look at it from a qualitative perspective, you can see that for every euro spent, you get most of the minutes with your consumer, direct interaction, multi-sensory, with live marketing. Because people stay with your event, they interact with your brand, and in times of GAFA, this is very important.
Because with all those other marketing channels, you as a brand, you have a hard time actually interacting with your consumer. And now about the market. If you look at the market, um, marketing spend in Germany here as an example, half of the money, approximately 60 billion euros, still go into TV and print. And we could have a, a long discussion about those two marketing channels, whether print and, and TV are surviving in the long run. What we see is that if we create a scalable marketing channel with live marketing, a lot of those euros, out of those 60 billion euros, will flow into more offline on-demand presence via live marketing campaigns. This is our partner and customer base. You can see that we're already working with the biggest brands out there, Procter & Gamble, Nestle, Daimler, BMW, and they're all doing those roadshows because they understand how important it is to interact with their consumers in the real world on an on-demand basis. This is our team. We have 40 people based in Berlin, uh, rated one of the uh, most interesting employers in Berlin because we really care about our culture. And we've raised 5 million euros so far. Our lead investor is Project A, and we also have Rocket Internet, uh, Hevela Capital, and the IBB on board. And we want to raise another 6 million next year, and it would be great to get in touch with you today. Thank you very much.